Yeah, I actually made this wedding dress. I loved all the process from day one. See my bride. I really love this. I love the lights and all that. Yeah, I didn't make this. I didn't make this one, uh, but I actually made this one. <laughs> and I also made this one. Uh, stay with me. We're still going to talk about uh, the mistakes that bride make. Uh, during their weddings so or why planning their wedding i made this one also you've seen this one before and i made this also yeah so that's it this this one from here i didn't make this one so let's talk now hello welcome to my youtube channel in this video we'll be looking at lovely wedding dresses uh, made by fashion designers all over the world especially in africa and also by me i made like i think the first three or so and um, in this video we want to talk about the mistakes that brides make brides make i made this blue i made this blue dress uh, brides make a lot of mistakes during their wedding planning and even on their wedding day but you want to uh, make sure that you reduce the uh the mistakes that you make during your wedding because as it as a soon-to-be bride you are going to make several decisions about your big day for most brides, the big event is usually the largest and the most important event that they've ever organized. So it is advisable for you to to get a, a planner. You know, you have to you want to be organized, you want your event to be well planned. But some brides like to do this by themselves. Uh, some event some brides are actually event planners with themselves, and some just like to organize events. And for some brides, they've been doing this for a while maybe for other for their friends wedding and, and so they believe that they can put the wedding together but i've said that i still believe that it is still important for you to have a a an, an event planner someone that is responsible someone that is responsible for making sure that everything goes as planned uh, everything goes like your dream wedding so you get your dream wedding so it's important for you to establish what your overall budget is as this will guide your spending and help you make smart decisions on hiring the right team of vendors who will work best with your personality and your vision for the day. Still, even the most organized bride can be visited with some form of disappointment on a big day. There are some mistakes you should avoid at all costs when planning your wedding and even on your wedding day. Number one, I've said it before, not getting a wedding planner. You cannot do this alone. You don't want to do this alone. You are going to be so stressed. You agree with me that the week before your wedding and your wedding week will usually be so stressful. And if you are the only one planning this wedding, there's no one doing uh, the runs for you you are going to be very stressed and by the time it's the wedding day you feel so tired so you want to do this you want to make sure that someone else is responsible for your wedding uh for the wedding day for the organization and the planning for the vendors someone has to be in, in touch with the vendors someone has to be uh the person handling the vendors Otherwise, you will have to be making calls while on the altar. When you're supposed to be saying "I do," you you don't want to you, you don't want to be that bride that will be running altar scatter in a wedding in a wedding dress. Number two, not putting yourself first. It is so important for you to put yourself first. You need to understand that this is your day. We oh, we hopefully we it is expected that um, this is your like the biggest day ever. In your life so you want to enjoy this day put yourself first one of the questions that can help you to have direction is for you to answer this question what is the most important to you what is the what is the most important thing for you in all this is it the food is it your dress is it the venue or are there some some um important things that you know this one you are not negotiating you have to get it right you have to understand what that is also number three uh buying a gown before choosing a, a venue some people are able to get away with this but for some people some people will plan like a very quiet wedding maybe like a 
a very, very small wedding. And all of a sudden, uh, they decide to change to maybe a plaza, to a very, very big hall and all. And because they have already bought their dress, which will probably be so simple, because, you know, when you have an outdoor wedding and something very calm, you, your dress is not like going to be like so, so uh, serious. <laughs> Permit me to use that word. So sometimes when you pick your wedding uh, dress, without considering your wedding venue because you have not picked your wedding venue sometimes you may have um issues your wedding dress may not fit the venue i don't know if that makes sense so you want to uh consider your wedding venue before buying your dress number number four dieting too close to your wedding this this will stress you out you want to lose weight just few weeks or few like yeah, a few weeks to your wedding you, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you start like six months. So you want to make sure that this you you start your dieting way before your wedding, your wedding, like six months before. Then the, the third one is not settling bills until the wedding day. There's some people, there's some, there's some brides or some couples that won't, like they just put all the expenses, like most, like the balance, balance, balance. They, they don't have any plan. On how to pay the balance so they just put uh, you know they they just tell the vendors that okay I'm gonna give you your balance if you are gonna do that make sure that the balance is actually with your event planner or with your family member or is with you so you can just make a transfer or something you can make the payment but don't let it be that they are waiting for you for uh, for the wedding to be for the recept uh, the, the ceremony to be over then you'll be running around to see how you can uh, you can pay the balance to your vendors that's why it is important for you to budget and stick to your budget it's very important then also number six uh, is not sending uh, number six it's not sending thank you card early enough there are some people that will send their word their thank you card like three months after that should not be it because most our uh, guests took their time to attend the event, event so you want to send out your thank you card on time yes now number six i know there's some brides that believe so much in god <laughs> i also believe in god but sometimes you want to be careful how you pick your wedding date and your wedding venue number six is picking uh going for outdoor wedding during rainy season we already know that it's the season when it is rainy season it is expected that it will rain at any time the rain does not need your permission it does not need your permission to perform its natural assignment so you don't want to pick a wedding uh, your wedding day and there is an outdoor wedding during a wedding se uh, rainy season you want to pick if you if you must pick a, a a date around the wedding season please use a hall that way you you are sure that and and make sure that the the all the all the events are the the venue for all the events are, are all, like in the same place make sure that it's a, it's advisable that if you must do your wedding during with rainy season choose a hall that uh can say that you can use for all the events like the wedding re the reception the white wedding the church wedding the reception let it be close enough very very close if possible use the same venue so that in case of uh in case in case it rains people can just um move to the to the reception hall and they'll be fine so that will be it for today we are going to talk about uh i'm going to continue in the next video i'm going to continue in the next video thank you uh please this is a quick disclaimer the pictures you are seeing on your screen all of them are not mine. If I if I did not specify that this uh, that I made a particular one, then it is not mine. They are made by different fashion designers. We are showcasing and make, giving inspiration for brides to be. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.